Hello, Libra. It is time for your mid-February to March reading of 2019. This current year. Hello, hello. It's going to be a Thunderdome, so there's going to be two readings for two people, you and whoever you're dealing with. I am still taking personal readings, so if you want one, just hit me up with my email. It's down in the description below. And I also have my PayPal if you want to do donations because I don't charge for my readings. Um, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if that's any of yours. Go right ahead. It's general. Don't get iffy with me if you don't like what it says either. It's not polite. No way. Let's see, for group one, we got Prince of Swords reversed, the Empress reversed, the, cl the Clown or the Fool reversed, and the Fears and Rejections, Ten of Wands reversed, Seven of Pentacles reversed, and the Emperor. The beginning theme being the Sun reversed. Group one, someone's not happy, or at least they're not as happy as they used to be. Let's move this out the way, because I had to like download some onto the computer. I feel like this is... Well, it's crooked my way, but it's not so much yours. Anyway, yeah. Someone's not very happy. Collectively speaking, of course. Um, someone feels as though that there has been a damper in their happiness. Like something's been put to the back burner or put away because there was just some interference. Could be dealing with a Leo, too, since this is the sun and that is their star sign or whatever it is you want to call it well their sons are sun which is just like that's ridiculous but it's leo so yeah so let's see i think some of you in group one might be dealing with somebody if it's not you who isn't very much talkative or approaching they might have some superficial wounds they'd rather demonstrate and actually have a communication about why those wounds are there you know like they got these swords out and it's like they're um they're not really talking about what they need to be talked about like they're just showing how hurt they are as a response instead of actually giving an explanation like oh no i'm not going to tell you anything like i'm hurting you know which in reality they probably aren't they're just putting on a facade right But they're still offering some sort of love offer, maybe some sort of apology might even come with it. Or maybe they aren't saying, like they want to, they just haven't yet, they aren't approaching, they're going the other way. They're taking themselves the other way with this love offer, because, but that they're, they're not coming forward with that love offer either. Could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio they're dealing with. Um, with the Ten of Wands right here, there is a burden that's still lingering that deals with somebody's happiness. Like, someone feels like they're being overworked by it, I feel like. Two Tens right there. There is the completion of happiness and completion of an overburden somewhere, or there will be. Like, someone might be trying to move on even though they feel a little burdened in order to get their happiness. We have the Empress up here in the wants and wishes, like someone, and this is the situation, right? Like someone's been overburdened when it comes to trying to get their happiness, you know? And over here is the wants and wishes where someone's wanting and wishing for somebody or something that might like bring them happiness, I feel like, but they're not very nurturing right now. They're not very caring. They're keeping all of their good persons to themselves they're not really demonstrating that they can be loving and kind right now and they lie behind a curtain of getting whatever it is they want even though there's hubris in their wish that's nine of cups reversed like there was wish fulfillment but like yeah like they got what they wished for but it caused them to um pull back from what made them a loving person like it's like they got what they wanted, but behind the curtain, like, boom, this person isn't nurturing, this person isn't kind. It's like they're hiding that element to themselves. 
Kind of like with the Knight of Cups right here in the Prince of Swords reverse. Like this person isn't coming out saying what love they have because they're getting something they're wishing for. But it's also causing them to become like the Empress reverse where she isn't in her power. She isn't embodying any good qualities about her. And the challenges and obstacles below the Seven of Pentacles. Somebody like planted some sort of seed and it did not... Kind of like um, enabling behavior. Somebody fed an enabling behavior. Like someone caused something to grow that was not productive. It didn't work out right. Or it was just plain out bad for them. Which might have something to do with this wish. Yeah, okay. Look it. And then we got strength reverse. Like, could be Leo once again. Maybe this Leo doesn't make somebody happy. But, like, it's in reverse, so there's a lot of restriction on this. There's a lot of, um, maybe even indulgences that somebody shouldn't engage in. But it's like somebody planted the seed with this strength in reverse. And they got what they wanted, but now it's, like, come back on them. Like, they, they, ha they this is what they're wanting, but it, it's not healthy, I feel like. With the Empress and the Seven of Pentacles both in reverse, I feel like none of that is healthy. Like, someone, I feel like, didn't pay attention to what they wished for. Let's see. With this lack of faith right here hesitation with the full reverse or the secret clown reverse right like someone doesn't want to take a leap of faith someone doesn't want to try someone might even be going on a journey that's not going to benefit them in any way because they might be realizing that there's no point in waiting for something with the three of wands reverse someone's tired of waiting like there's hesitation because someone doesn't want to wait anymore or they ran out of time, or something is done. Like, something's complete in this. But, like, in a way where, like, there's no closure, I feel like. Like, who else had something about closure? I, I said closure about with somebody else, and I can't remember who it was. But it's like... Yeah, there's a lot of... Like, someone doesn't want to take a leap of faith because they know that they're afraid something's the end, or they're rejecting it because it's the end. It's one of the two. And then we got the Emperor down here. Could be the Aries. Oh, actually, wow. Okay, I didn't even realize he was here with the Empress. So he is in his power. She's lost her damn mind. Gotcha. She might have made a bad wish. But the Emperor is here and he is in control. He is the one making the rules or whatever. This is the catalyst as well as the final result in all this. What is the start and the beginning? end of this entire scenario, right, group one? Oh. He's working on something. This masculine person is working on something, being very diligent with his work, being very careful with the Eight of Pentacles. Yes, and the ending theme is the moon reverse. Some illusions are coming to light. Like, some things are being opened up, and that is why someone is not in their happy place. Group one, right? Like, there's somebody here who, like, I don't know. It feels like someone's a little guilty. Like, I'm surprised Seven of Swords didn't come up somewhere, but it's like... Someone doesn't want to open up that they, um... might have gone and done something that they thought was a good idea to get this wish fulfillment and it just screwed them up like they weren't like it's like a miscalculation somewhere like someone wasn't expecting it and now they are kind of stalled with both of these like neither of these two are coming forward this one thinks it's the end and this one like still has something to offer but he's not approaching with the prince of swords reversed there's a lot of like options maybe emotional confusion there's things that are like before you 
Seven of Cups. You might be trying to find which cups balance you out and which ones don't. You might be trying to get into your creative side. You might be trying to figure out a creative way to get through all of this where you can't offer your love in order to remove this burden for your happiness. Like, I, like I feel like that's the problem. Like, someone's afraid that this is the end of something, and that's why they don't want to offer anything. And that's what's causing an issue with their happiness right now. Um, could be dealing with a cancer. Someone might be going in to balance themselves out. They're all geared up for battle on their little chariot. They might be roaring to go. They're ready to move ahead. Maybe someone's finally looked at those options and seen. Yes, and here is the Empress. Somebody is definitely looking at their options, getting ready to go forward in order to turn the Empress right side back up again in order to get her back to her nature. So that's at least good. Like, you, you might be confused for now, Group 1, but like... It seems like you're gearing in the right direction or to get back to the Empress who's right side up to back to her nurturing nature again. Now we're going to do group Tau. Yay. <laughs> Alright, group two. Let's see what we got for you. Seems like group one is having a bit of a personality crisis, I'd call it. Trying to figure out why it is that things are the way they are, despite getting what they want, I feel like. Like, maybe somebody, I don't know. But we're talking about you now, so we need to get into you. So, group two, let's see what the cards say about you. No whammies. We got... Queen of Pentacles reversed. Ace of Swords. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Two of Pentacles. The Wheel reversed. Two of Cups reversed. Ooh, that's actually not bad. Six of Pentacles. Balance. Gaining balance. Maybe somebody's been feeling in their shadow about themselves or another person, but they're definitely trying to gain balance with the Six of Pentacles. Definitely trying to figure themselves out, trying to figure out how these Pentacles can fit in each hand. And I do like that the Two of Cups is right here for the beginning and the end of all this. Maybe some things didn't work out very well, you know? Let's see. It looks like someone's having a lot of issues with trying to figure themselves out. Maybe trying to figure out the options that surround them. Oh, I didn't see you turned over. There might even be like movement involved with them as well with the aid of wands, which I didn't see. They're moving towards something. But something's halted with this Ace of Swords. And I feel like with this Two of Cups, they're possibly is some connection here but there might not be an offer coming from it right so just keep that in mind we'll find out here in a second though. so we got the queen of pentacles and she is upside down i mean like she's manifesting stuff but she's not manifesting it enough to be like this senior mother figure that she normally is she's kind of being greedy she's kind of um influencing some shit not to grow the way it's supposed to for other people she's kind of being bitter i feel like like maybe she's not being as productive as she should be maybe it's just a lazy year with her she's not really focused on creating stuff either Ooh, three cards because she is moving ahead Wheel of Fortune is turning for her. So if there was a lack of creativity or a lack of production on her side, I think that's going to be moving forward right now, right? Then we have the Two of Pentacles. Someone's weighing their options, and they are going to come to some sort of decision with the situation with the Two of Wands. <clears throat> this one's weird. Ace of Swords, right? Usually a truth moment. Realization, the actual real of reality right there is a timid immature yet promising offer to be given some sort of a 
Resolution, there's no disappointment found in this with the Page of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Actually, these two could be the same. Maybe they aren't being productive in this situation because, like, they're moving forward. But there's still this offer here, and it is, like, a very true offer. Um, but then we still got the Ace of Pentacles right here. So it's like, hmm. When someone's earnestly giving out um, an offer to somebody, that's for sure. So we have that working for us. What is this Wheel of Fortune reversed in the uh, Obstacles and Challenges? In case you're wondering, that's my incense smoke. I just lit it because it went out again. Ah. Ah, two cards. Um, the moon. There's a lot of hidden stuff. And that hidden stuff is like they're like. Wait. There's movement with lack of production, but there's no movement when it comes to these illusions and this other stuff. Like, something isn't going to be revealed. You might be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer who has some secrets. Hmm. I feel like somebody recognizes that there is a potential offer here, but the problem is is that these illusions, or even a person at that, um, are causing stagnation. They're causing quiet. They're not allowing something to happen. Like, this is keeping the wheel reversed, and the person over here is trying to make some the wheel move, I feel like, now. Like, they aren't able to produce anything, and they're trying to get the wheel to move. It's like... Someone was put in time out. Yet this time out is like... It's an illusion. It's like... Like... Whatever someone's trying to produce, like, they, they're trying to get the wheel to turn, but because this is right here, it's not going to turn as well. Despite the fact there is truth in this offer. I mean, what they want is the offer. They really want to see it happen, but it's like... It's an illusion. You're just waiting for nothing. It's not coming your way. Like, it's stalled. This isn't coming to fruition. Then right here, we have the Ace of Pentacles Reverse, where it's a lack of an offer or a shitty offer, and it comes with someone's happiness. So once again, it's like... There's no offer here being made. It's a fear of rejection. Or maybe somebody's afraid that someone won't take the offer for happiness. So then we got the Two of Cups down here, right? Oh my goodness. Catalyst as well as final result, the lovers. This is definitely a connection. Someone could say it's soulmate, twin flame, whatever, but there is definitely a connection between two people here. Like, someone is in love. That's for sure. Someone is in love. And maybe they aren't conjuring something because they think the wheel is turning, but that's an illusion, so the wheel is not going to turn for them. Um, this fear of an offer towards their happiness is behind this fear, and that's why it's not moving, I feel like. Like, someone's in love. This is love. But it's like two people who are in love who aren't coming together to me, I feel like. Like, if you love someone, tell them. Like, Jesus, and people aren't mind readers, you know? Unless you're scared of doing that, which is just like, you know. There's nothing to be scared of. The worst that someone's going to do is tell you no. The worst they're going to do is reject you. 
Just if, if they hurt your feelings, they hurt your feelings, but at least you got your feelings out so you don't have to linger on it anymore, you know? You don't want to be stuck in like an endless cycle of like driving yourself nuts. That shit's not fun, man. I'm telling you, it's really not. <laughs> Let's see what the ending theme is. But yeah, someone's in love, but they're so, I feel like they're really scared to make this offer in order to make themselves happy. Nobody cares what time it is. Thank you. It's like, how are you going to be in love with someone and not even let them know? Or maybe you're not letting them know because you love them that much and you don't want to lose them. Like, I've been in a scenario like that before. I had a friend I was absolutely in love with. And, oh, dear. Um, someone got what they wished for, but it came with hubris and now they're trying to find some sort of balance with it. Could be you, Libra, since, uh... Hmm. I feel like it might be you looking for the balance, because in group one, they did get what they want, but then they got somebody bitter. Are you the one who was the prize, and now you're trying to find balance in all this? Or did you wish for something that, um... It's causing you to want to look for balance because this is like a wish with hubris, right? Be careful what you wish for because you might get it. Maybe you got it. And it was just like, ah, I need to figure this out again, you know? You might be dealing with an earth sign who you don't know how to approach, too. To which I would say honesty is the best policy because, like, earth signs are just, I don't know, we're, we're egotistical. But only to protect our own emotions. We just, like, are really good at poker face. That's all. Like, we could be screaming in your face and inside we're dying because we just want to hug you. Yeah. That's just how earth signs work if you're dealing with somebody like that. Because I feel like this is an earth sign who doesn't want to cooperate with anything, almost. Let's see what the three advice cards are for you, group two. Someone is definitely insecure. <laughs> Someone is so insecure and holding themselves back from something. Oh my god, like, dude, come on. If you're in love, just tell someone you love them. Just go for it. Like, if they reject you, fuck it. You'll find someone new. You're a Libra. You always have somebody around. Someone to make you smile. Someone to make you giggle. All those cute little giggles. Make your cheeks blush. Um, this was a burden. But that's ending. Like The truth about this offer, the illusions behind why the wheel is stalled, this is all going to come to an end with Ten of Wands. There's going to be a completion with it, I feel like. Like, I mean, like, I mean, if it hasn't completed already, it will. It's just going to take some time. And that's like the most frustrating part, I think, for you. Because Libras aren't really good with emotions, man. Like, at least they don't know how to express them in a way that makes them comfortable. They're very, and I don't want to say this cruelly or in a mean fashion, but y'all can be shallow. That doesn't, it's not bad, but it's just like you don't feel. Or at least you don't attempt to feel as deeply as, um, with many emotions as you do romantic, you know? Like, you have a tendency to, um, overanalyze and be way too logical when that's not necessary. I'm not saying the emotions are necessary itself, but, oh, someone's being bitchy. Someone's being bitchy. Someone's in bitch mode. Queen of Wands reverse. Someone is just in the attitude of, like, I want this, and I want it now. <laughs> like, look, you, you want this offer that's not coming for your happiness about this person you're in love with. You're getting really bitchy about it. You're being really mean about it. You're being really angry, very fiery, very in your emotions. Maybe that's why you're needing the balance. Like, but I don't know what this wish was. So, ah, I could probably look at it, though. But I don't want to be that snoopy. You know, it's none of my business what your offer is. Yeah, it is. I'm looking it up. Fuck it. What was the offer? I'm using these because these will tell me quicker. A 
Rose Wish. Ooh, Five of Cups? What? Whatever it was that was a possible wish, Group 2, it caused someone to live with some regrets. So they still need to get over it. Maybe that's why you're trying to look for balance, right? Somebody did something. Either to you, or you could have done it to them, one of the two, but somebody did something. That caused a lot of pain. Bad memories. And that's why someone's acting bitter. Well, that's the reading, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.